Give a quick verdict on the low light performance on this little camera here. It doesn't look too bad on screen. A lot of things don't look too bad on screen. The only light I have right now on me is that right there. When you're walking out on the streets, it's honestly not too bad. Um, if spe especially if there's like a lot of light, a lot of street lights, building lights, um, car lights. Uh, that's it should be fine um, on the screen. It looks fantastic I would say with focusing at night is probably the worst thing I've experienced on this camera But if a person is moving while you're moving it, it kind of hunts a bit uh, Especially sometimes even when you're doing selfie mode like this while walking It tends to like try to hunt and you or your face will get out of focus a little bit and then it'll go back to it eventually all the settings I'm using for this is a uh Intelligent Auto Plus. Mm -hmm. Oh, here comes the street. Here comes the street. Let's see. Let's see how this. Uh, so cool. In the this wind. Cool, you know. Wait, hold on. I want to test out the, uh, the wind on this and the sound because there's cars below us. Yeah. And cars on the side of us. So let's see how this sound quality is on this little camera. It's pretty windy. Boston. Land of the fun when you're like 13, 14, 15. Land of the boring when you hit the twenties. I tend to find the LCD screen a little bit laggy, especially if I'm pointing down the camera on the floor and straight back up to the street. It kind of lags throughout that transition, that fast movement. So for the LCD screen, oh, oh, oh no, oh, wrong button. There you go. Besides the focus hunting, um, the LCD screen also tends to lag a bit, especially if you pre-record or not even record at all. It, it kind of exposes as much as it can. And it, it kind of shows that slow shutter speed where things are really, really blurry. But once you hit record, it tends to not blur at all. Um, obviously things are darkened. Like you can't really see half of my face, but if I unpress record, you can see my face, but it'll be really laggy. So that's another issue about this camera for the light. But other than that, it's pretty good. So that's my review of the low light. Hopefully some next video will be about another thing. So yeah, see you next time.